former Olympian, Chad Gable, who came so close to winning the Intercontinental Championship as Kaiser makes the tag and now the legal man. What a match last week between Gable and Gunther. Well, Gable stole the hearts of the WWE Universe with that performance, a Rocky-like effort against Gunther. Oh. I think Chad has finally realized there is a time to be entertaining and there's a time to be the in-ring machine. And if he keeps that in mind, his trajectory and his career is going to skyrocket. Does Gable deserve another opportunity at the Intercontinental title? If you're asking me, I would personally love to see it. But the truth is, he has now had two opportunities at the championship. He didn't win the championship on either occasion, albeit he won one match by a counter. So for me, yeah. One day, maybe, but not right now. Got to earn that opportunity as uh, Gable puts on a clinic. Now in control of Kaiser. Technician versus technician, and Kaiser will not be taking it well. Coming off second best in that exchange, even though he's in there with an Olympian. What about uh, Gunther earlier tonight saying that the legends who have held this Intercontinental Championship, more than a dozen Hall of Famers, contributed nothing to the title. It took Gunther to elevate it to the heights it is today. I mean, there's an element of truth to that. I'm not going to take it personally, as you mentioned a couple of times. Element of truth. You have a championship five times five in times. your career. Yeah. I don't think so Gunther considers anybody a legend. People far greater than... Oh, and look at this. Over the top of those Gables. Swift move by Kaiser. And that is what you have to expect against a unit oh so well drilled as Imperium. It was only a matter of time before something like that was going to happen. Chad Gable knows that as well as anybody. I like how you put that, and it's, it's right. Well drilled. That is what Imperium is. Just a militant, rapacious unit. And now the beating truly commences. Yeah, they've got Gable isolated from Champa and Otis. The Otis chance ringing through the scope here in Norfolk as Gable tries to crawl across the ring. Kaiser will not let it happen. In control now of Chad Gable. I saw the look on the, the face, the concern of, from that scene earlier on. Good the first to tell you what Chad Gable has meant to her career here at WWE. Gable now trying to somehow make a tag. Fingertips away from his partner Otis. Otis wants in in a big way, may get the opportunity here. Nice takedown by Kaiser. Now look at it. Trying to get Kaiser over for a German suplex. Wouldn't happen. And Kaiser with a clothesline. Page right out of Gunther's book. We saw that last week. Yeah, that was the way Gunther knocked off Gable to retain the championship. Now, Gunther's legal. Everything's moving. But a triple team now. <laughs> and the Intercontinental Champion, your losing? legal man. Imperium dominating. We're back live on Monday Night Raw. This is Imperium in a six-man tag team matchup against Alpha Academy in Tommaso Ciampa. And Chad Gable trying to fight out of the corner. Imperium has been dominating Gable. Well, Gable has been fighting valiantly for the past five or six minutes oh! to get to that tag, but it isn't coming. Not tonight. A boot to Otis knocks him off the apron after a thunderous chop to Gable. We've not seen anything of Otis in this match whatsoever. Chad Gable completely isolated and alone. And another big chop by Gunther. Such an intimidating champion. Fierce. Vicious. And Gable trying to fight back. Slinging Gunther over his shoulder. And speaking of shoulders, Gunther's hurt. Gunther desperately reaching. This has to be it for Gable. Now or never. Tag. Champa is legal as is Vinci. And Tomasa Champa unloading on Giovanni Vinci. Champ into the corner with a running clothesline. Gunther knocked off the apron. Vinci looks to take advantage. Oh! Cover by Champa. 
Nobody comes close to the grit and the drive of Tommaso Ciampa, a one-man Mount Rushmore of NXT. Now Kaiser tries to get involved. Vinci tries to take advantage of the distraction. Oh. It does with a clothesline to Ciampa. Is that the rule if you're an Imperium? You've got to have the greatest clotheslines in the history of the industry. Otis back uh -oh. up to the apron. Kaiser into the ring trying to and does intercept Champa from making a tag. Keep the big man out of this matchup if you're Imperium. Champa though, slinging Kaiser away. Otis makes the tag. Here comes the 330 pounder. And the big man, oh wow. Spin it back elbow, nice moves. Otis told me he was emotionally fired up. Watching Chad Gable's performances over the past month. Well, he's still fired up tonight. It's the climb to that level himself. Make sure he's not the weak link of this team. Time to level up, Otis. This is not what I had in mind. The Caterpillar! Bobo! Maxine loving it. Otis with Kaiser up high. Kaiser lands on his feet. Oh, into the post shoulder first goes Otis. A rush of blood to the head with that initial success for Otis. And you're in the worst position possible. And Gunther telling Gable, go ahead, tag in. Let's go. Let's do this. Show me what you got. Show me what you learned last week. And Gable's going to do just that. Gable's been battered from pillar to post so far in this much. How he's still taking up, no idea. And Gunther says, that is how you deliver a German suplex. And a cheap shot knocks Champ off the apron. Gunther again, lifting Gable up for a powerbomb. And Gable slipped through, ankle lock time now on Gunther. Gable almost had Gunther tap last week for the championship. Can he have him tap again tonight? Gunther fighting through the agony. Tag. Vinci legal, cross body. Gable rolls through, ankle lock time now. Vin on Vinci. Vinci has had ankle issues for the past couple of months. Thankfully for him, getting out of there. Gable. Still a seconds away from victory, but now at the boots of the ring general. And now Tomasa Ciampa with a running knee, driving Gunther outside the ring. Kaiser with the right hand to Ciampa. Absolute bedlam everywhere you look. Otis just plowing through Kaiser. Gunther with a boot to Otis. Roll up in the ring by Vinci. Kick out at two by Gable. Gable picks the ankle. Back on that damaged ankle of Giovanni Vinci. Got to try to get into the ring now to put an end to this. Tommaso Ciampa. Ciampa though. Ciampa with a Sicilian stretch locked in. He's making Gunther watch Vinci. Something in the ankle lock. He's going to make Gunther watch Vinci tap out. while Tampa with a Sicilian stretch locked in made Gunther watch it all. Imperium losses are as rare as hen's teeth. But we saw one tonight. It's a collector's item. Hen's teeth. Tampa wanted to prove something tonight. And he and Alba Academy did. Taking down Imperium. This loss will not sit well with Gunther.